Last few days, there's just been big hubbub about the announcement of these Satan sneakers. Just check out this tweet. So Lil Nas X, openly gay, very, very popular rapper, especially with kids, uh, working with Mischief, M-S-C-H-F, and, and Air Max 97, Satan Shoes. They're releasing March 29th, 666 pairs. They're made each individually, numbered containing one drop of human blood from a staff from Mischief and 60 cc's of ink. They will retail for $1,018, and there's some really demonic pictures of Lil Nas X. Okay. On the one hand, another ridiculous publicity stunt, something in and of itself that is stupid, something in and of itself that doesn't deserve our attention, especially when there's so much satanic evil in the society. However, we don't want to downplay the fact that this rapper for whom we pray, we pray that he'll come to know the God that that he rejects and and mocks and resists, and, and we come to... We, we pray that he will come to understand the foolishness of exalting anything to do with Satan, that he's not just a figment of people's imaginations or, or some good being posing as bad. No, he is, as I said, darkness and darkness only. He masquerades as an angel of light, but he only brings destruction and pain and degradation. That's who he is. That's what he does. Jesus says that he's been a murderer and a liar from the beginning. But but here's the real reason for concern is because, is because of the popularity of, of Lil Nas X. Look at this article in NPR. Look at the headline. Lil Nas X says children are his core audience right now, and that's okay. Children as in little children. Let's scroll down in this article. And for those who are watching, look, look at this. There he is on Sesame Street. It's going on a little further than that article. Little Nas on Sesame Street, posing next to one of their beloved puppets. Let's go down a little further in the article, and you can see a picture of Little Nas X in front of elementary school children. Okay? Now, look, the reality is that this same company put out a Jesus sneaker with holy water like a year something ago. And, and, and this was attached to Nike sneakers. Like he said, no, no, we've got nothing to do with this. We have no connection to these sneakers. So even Nike wanted to distance themselves from the Satan sneakers. It, it's little Nas and his influence. That's the bigger issue to me, his lostness and the kids that he influences. Look, look at this tweet from him. Look at what he says. He says, I literally sing about lean. Wasn't even familiar with that term lean, but, but a particular drug. I literally sing about lean and adultery in Old Town Road, a super popular song of his. You decided to let your children listen. Blame yourself. That's the issue. Uh, The sneakers, okay, stupid publicity stunt, whatever. Now everybody's talking about Lil Nas. Now we're finding out who he is and so on and getting more attention to his latest song. And Okay, obviously you do things like that. You you make a limited number of copies of these and and it's here today, gone tomorrow. But it's the glorifying of Satan for his audience. And now that's the cool thing for the kids. That's my big issue. When when you have horrific songs like WAP and they become number one in the nation and you think, okay, it's bad enough for adults to be into that, degrading songs like that. But kids... They don't even know what they're singing and the moves they're making. They don't understand, but they're getting polluted with this. This is what concerns me more, the pollution of children. And then the presence of real evil in this world. That's a far greater concern to me than the sneakers. It's the presence of real evil in this world, the the, the attack on children, selling little children to be trafficked sexually. I mean, horrors like that. The ongoing epidemic of abortion, the breakdown of the family. These are the satanic things that concern me more. And all the more do we want to pray for this man to come to know Jesus. There would be people who are far worse sinners than him that God has saved, especially when people act in ignorance and unbelief. But 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 here's the real irony of the whole thing. Let, let's take a look at the sneaker itself. And, and, and on the one hand, it's got, say, this one's six out of 666. So this is 
sneaker number six out of a run of 666. That's in the back. But on the, the front side, it says Luke 1018. Now, why in the world would you put that scripture on your shoe? If you're glorifying Satan and you've got, you know, upside down cross and pentagram and these other images and, and all this stuff, why in the world would you do that? What does it say here? Jesus sends out his 70 to preach, drive out demons, heal the sick. They come back. The 70 return with joy saying, Master, even the demons submit to us in your name. And Jesus said to him, Yeshua said to them, I was watching Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Or other translations say, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. So either he's saying, I was there when he was cast out of heaven and he rebelled in the first place, or when you were going out driving out demons, I was watching him fall like lightning from heaven. And then he says this, behold, I've given you authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. That's verse 19. Nothing will harm you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice that the spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your names have been written in heaven. Okay, maybe the point of putting that scripture is to say Satan's fallen to the earth, whatever, but it's, it speaks of his fall. Satan's fallen. And in Jesus, Satan's under our feet. The real lesson from these stupid sneakers, the real lesson is that Satan is under our feet in Jesus. We have authority over him. He's not our master. He's not our Lord. His power is broken over our lives through the cross and the resurrection. And, and many of you watching and listening can say, yeah, that happened to me. I was bound. I was a slave. I was a slave to, to fear. I was a slave to drugs. I was a slave to sex. I was a slave to, to greed or lust or anger or violence or whatever it was. And Jesus liberated you. Satan has been defeated. And we must now exercise our authority in Jesus and bring the message of liberation and freedom to the world. May this publicity ploy bring about a wave of prayer for the salvation of Lil Nas, an awareness to parents of the garbage that they're letting their kids take in and what is available for them, and then a renewed desire for us to go out and set captives free.